Good day guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. So today I want to talk about workspaces, basically your workspace layout. As you can see on my screen, I'm currently using one monitor. As you can see on this monitor, my workspace has a toolbar at the top, has a page navigator, a layout space navigator, and a device navigator, and also a graphical preview navigator located here at the bottom. This is the default selected workspace that comes with ePlan. And because I'm using Pro Panel as well, I get the option of having a workspace selection for Pro Panel. And when I'm editing macros, I can select the macro editing workspace. And also in ePlan 2022, 2023 as well, you can show menu bar. This is the menu bar that you see at the bottom here. If I switch it off, you can see that it's gone and if I switch it back on you can see that it's back on. On ePlan 2.9 it's usually located at the top so as I said before I'm using one monitor but I'm going to demonstrate this as if I'm using three monitors or two monitors or just one monitor. So because I can only record one monitor at a time, I cannot display three monitor functionality or two monitor functionalities. So Workspace can be used to switch the entire ePlan user interface from one representation, this is the representation that I have, to another representation. So basically, say for example, you get to work and at work you have three monitors, but when you get home, you only have two monitors and sometimes when you get to that client's uh, site or when you visit the client, you only have your laptop with you. You don't have two monitors or you don't have three monitors, but you, where you practically only have one screen, one monitor, one form of view. So you can actually alternate between those. You can switch uh, the entire workspace layout. This includes yeah, dis uh, displayed navigators, so you can display these navigators, you can uh, switch them off, uh, you can display uh, more navigators on different monitors. So basically, as you can see, if I go here, I can display the device navigator, which is, uh, it is currently actually here, so I can just push it to the side. And if I push it here to the side, I can have it like that. The page navigator, I can have the device navigator. So I can have the device navigator there. I can also have the terminal strip navigator and I can also have the PLC navigator and I can also have the cable navigator. This is just an example. Maybe you might have more navigators that you wanna use, but this is just an example. But in, as I said, I'm only having one monitor that I can use to record this video. The program doesn't allow me to record on multiple uh, screens so I can only show on one uh, monitor basically. But say for example, I had one, uh, I had three monitors, I can actually put the cable uh, navigator, I can put the PLC navigator on monitor one, and on monitor two, I can have the terminal strip navigator, the device navigator, the page navigator on monitor two, and on monitor three, I can have the schematic, and then uh, you can have the graphical uh, preview also, maybe on the main monitor, you know. So you, if you have three monitors, you can do that. So sometimes when you close ePlan and you reopen ePlan again, it goes back to the default uh, workspace. So uh, you can actually create a workspace that uh, when you open ePlanet by in quotations default, it goes to the created workspace. So in order to create a workspace, say this is three monitors right here, you can actually click on view. And uh, once you have clicked on view, you can click on workspace. And here on workspace, you can actually be able to create a new workspace. So 
at the moment we have the default as I said we have the default micro editing and pro panel workspaces available but you can create a new one in ePlan 2022 and ePlan 2023 you have the plus sign but in uh, ePlan 2.9 you would see a sign that looks like it's a sun or something like that so if you click on it you can be able to create a new one and give it a description so for example I said this is a workspace that I want to have for three monitors in quotation so I will just say three monitors and I'll give it a description the description is uh, basically so basically my description will be this is a this is the preferred workspace slash layout when you are using three 23 inch two 27 inch monitors so this will be the preferred uh, workspace layout so uh, by clicking save and clicking ok it will be saved so you can have that and what's nice about the workspace is that it is possible to export it and import it uh, basically you can create this one and export it uh, maybe for example you change in your workstation or you changing uh, your office maybe you're no longer working in one office you'll be moving to another office you can actually just uh, export it and then uh, save it and send it to yourself or something like that and then once you get the new PC the new laptop and you are now at a new workstation you can just import it uh, back into the new e uh, E plan so anyways uh, I've created the three monitors I will just save it and then I'll just click OK so this is my workspace layout for three monitors and then say that uh, I'm at, at home I only have two monitors so I can just uh, do that I don't need the cable navigator I don't need the PLC navigator and maybe I don't need the yeah maybe I don't need those two this is for two monitors so basically with two monitors I have on one monitor I have my terminal strip my device uh, navigator my page navigator and then on the main monitor which is the second monitor the main monitor I will have the workspace layout that I do the editing of the graphics on and then I will have uh, the workspace layout here on this side then I'll have the graphical uh, preview navigator on this side here so basically I can be able to work like that but now this is not saved so if you want to create it again you can just uh, say workspace you can just click view workspace then create a new one then this uh, the new one will be named two monitors and then I'll just uh, say so I'll basically say uh, this is a workspace that I'm creating a new scheme for this workspace and this workspace is uh, two monitors that's the name of the workspace two monitors and the description is this is the preferred uh, workspace slash layout when you are using 223 inch to 27 inch monitors so you can save that and then you can just uh, click save and then you can click OK then uh, maybe you go to the customer site and when you're at the customer site you don't really need your navigators you just need to show him the the ePlan e drawings but maybe you want to use some ePlan functionality so you don't want to use a PDF documented drawing but you want to use the ePlan uh, drawings so you want to use the ePlan software to show the drawings you can also use ePlan uh, preview but uh, maybe you want to use the ePlan pro panel version uh, 2023 the normal version for editing not the preview version so you can create a workspace layout uh, for one monitor so by doing that maybe you don't need the page navigators maybe you don't need the device navigators you don't need the terminal strips you don't need the workspace uh, navigator you don't need to see the graphical preview and maybe you also don't need to see the toolbar at the top so you can actually just uh, minimize it like that and then 
maybe this is what you just want to see you just want to scroll through the drawings by just doing by just looking at them like this you don't want to be seeing other navigators on your monitor you want to maximize uh, the monitor you want to maximize the space of the monitor so you can have a monitor uh, a workspace layout saved for one monitor so you'll just do the same as you did for the other three you can say workspace then once you have clicked workspace you can just uh, create a new one then this is a laptop slash one monitor so basically as, as I've said uh, previously as well, you'll just give it a description. So it's not a must to give it a description, but you can just uh, make a description for yourself or maybe make a description for someone else. It is possible to send these workspace layout because you can e export them. It is possible to send them to your colleagues. Maybe you have a new colleague who's not uh, familiar with ePlan and they want to use the same uh, the same uh, workspace as you do or you guys want to stick to the same workspaces as colleagues so so that it's easier to uh, to find uh, all the navigators when you're assisting your colleagues you know so you want to stick to the same workspace layout so you can actually export them to your colleagues as well and share what uh, share between your colleagues you know and with new colleagues so yeah and once you have clicked OK then it's possible to actually export it so I'll maybe export uh, this, uh, two monitors just export it to my documents and when you export it the say sa uh, save as type is usually the XML and it's uh, the WSBC dot of or it's the dot XML so I can just uh, save it there and once I've saved it I can actually delete this one and as you can see it's no longer there so once I've deleted it I can actually import it again and once you have imported again it imports into ePlan with that description and you can change to a different workspace layout it does take some time to to kind of like register the new layout but if you have a faster process it should take uh, a shorter period So once it is once it is finished uh, registering the new layout, then everything else will be in uh, in position as you have saved it previously when you created the two monitor layout workspace. So yeah, uh, you can also uh, customize the ribbon at the top and then save it as you wish. Yeah, that's it for workspace layouts. Thanks very much for watching this video and yeah don't forget uh, do like this video do share it with your colleagues or whoever and yeah do comment if you want any assistance uh, with regards to ePlan regarding this video or regarding workspaces you can just uh, highlight me and I'll surely assist you thanks very much